Okay guys, I'm back again. I'm going to be doing a quick run through of a new uh, version of the Fear Mod Skinny Evil build. This will be the Fear Mod Skinny Evil version 1.5 and uh, I'll post a link. But here are the new updates, the change log for this version. There's now auto APN, which means that uh, your T-Mobile data will be entered automatically. There's also a working evil 5 megapixel camera with flash. So I believe the flash is no longer premature. The flash will actually work the, the way it's supposed to. He's removed the Nexus uh, camera. That was a 5 megapixel camera, but the evil camera should be better. I think it gives you more options. There's also a new YouTube app. He added Flash. There's uh, other minor things he doesn't go into detail about. And uh, some of these other things down here. And just in case if you need to put the APN, this is the route that you go about doing it. But I'll post that and uh, link to or just show you guys how to do that. These are the past versions. I'm currently on version 1.2 so right now you know after all these changes all the changes that happened I feel that it's finally time to upgrade to this version 1.5 so you will go here right at the top of the page scroll down you'll go here click it'll take you to a download screen where you have multiple options let me just show you real quick so you have multiple options mega upload all that stuff you can choose whichever one you want I chose mega upload I have it ready to download regular download so you click save it'll be under your downloads so you save. Like you go back to your main page, your your home screen. Click right click. New folder. You just create a folder here on the home home screen. You can name the folder whatever you want, so it doesn't have to be. So the folder popped up up here. It doesn't have to be named Android. So I'm just gonna right click, rename. You could name this folder anything you want. So I just say uh, skinny Evo 1.5. But you can name it whatever you want. Okay, so the download is finished. I'm going to click open. Allow. By the way, I'm using Windows Vista. And this is the WinWar program that I use you would click extract remember you've already created the folder on the uh, home screen I call it skinny evil 1.5 so we click extract to let it load up the uh, folders I don't know it's kind of my computer's running a bit slow today and this is the one skinny evil version I'm just going to give it 1.5. Select that, click OK. You let it transfer or extract the files. Also, if you already have a Android build on your phone, you have to remove it. You can't have two Android folders on the SD card, or uh, it won't uh, load or boot if you have two Android folders on your SD card. So that sound means it's done. We'll close this. Uh, okay, here we click the folder, and we'll see what's inside. So you get this main folder that says Fear Mod Skinny Evil double click this is the Android folder that you have to copy to your phone 
you can copy, right click, right copy like that, or drag it to your phone. Uh, let me see what's inside this G script. So let's just go back and read the instructions to see if you any of the new about how to install. So installation, place the Android and Gscript folder in the root of your SD card. So you have to copy both folders to the root of your SD card and the first boot will take up to 15 minutes. So let me go ahead and set that up. Okay, so I've disconnected the uh, micro SD from my phone and put it into the SD card with a micro SD adapter. This pops up. It's showing you, you know, the drive where the uh, information is at. So you click my com uh, computer. It's the H drive. And once you click that H drive, the first screen you see right here is the roots of your SD card. Okay. And this is where you have to copy the uh, folder to. So I'm going to go look for the Android that I'm already running, the version 1.2. Like I said, you can't have two folders inside your SD card, otherwise it won't boot right. So just search, there it is. So you might want to copy this one. If you don't want to lose all your files, like you can just copy this, save it onto your computer, and it saves everything that you had running on that uh, fo oh, Android build. Even your live wallpaper that you were running when you turned off the phone will still be there. So I'm going to paste it in this uh, folder. This is where I uh, keep all those kind of files. So it says Android. I'm going to delete this one. This is the same thing, but uh, this is the updated version. So it contains everything that I've done up to, the, up to when I just turned off the phone. Okay, so that's a uh, copy. I just finished copying it. Here it is, you can see it's today's date. So that's the new the newest version with all the you know anything I've done since I've been using the build is all saved there. I'm gonna go back to my micro SD card. I'm gonna delete this folder now, so I don't need it anymore. And then this is the folder that you created and you've uh, extracted the new build to see up top is skinny evil version 1.5 I'm just gonna drag hold on just gonna drag it make sure it doesn't go into any of these other folders like this it has to be on its own so you can post it there once again this takes some time to you see it's uh, 12 minutes okay so the Android folder has finished copying over now I'm gonna drag and copy the G script folder here. That's instantaneous, so we're done. Now you can remove the micro SD card or just unplug your phone from your computer. So I'm plugging the micro SD card back into my phone go to file explorer and there it is it should be in the storage card you see the Android folder Then you see CLRCAD, hit that first, then the rat. So this is the first time I'm booting this. They say it might take 15 minutes, so I'll probably cut in and out during the booting process. So I'll be back when anything changes from this screen. So in about two minutes uh, of the HTC screen, this is what happens next. It's 
pretty cool. He's really tricked out the boot animation. It's like a Droid X eye with a gold eyeball. Looks pretty sweet. Just heard a vibration. And there it is. So we're loaded, preparing SD card up top. I'm in my basement so I don't get any service. Unlock. Slide down. So that was actually quick. It was definitely not 15 minutes for me. It was only like five so far. Yeah. So then you just do your normal setup. Okay, so Facebook signed in. And it boosts you up to the main your home screen. Different he has a custom wallpaper. So you can see it's five megapixel resolution. So so that's it. I'll do another in-depth video of the whole build. But so far, at least the 5 megapixel, that's a nice addition. Thanks for watching.